Hey, yo, this is Dash, and I'm back in my kitchen again tonight as the, or this afternoon as the title implies, I am going to be making a Dizzy Bird out on my wife's grill with the rotisserie. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna show you what I do to prepare, all right? Okay, so what you see here, I have the, I don't even know what this would be called. Is this the rotisserie skewer, the rotisserie itself? But the hardest part <clears throat> is getting your chicken centered to where your heat source is. So the heat source in my grill, you'll see it once I get the chicken out there, but I'm going to slide the chicken onto the skewer, get it secured, held in place, and then take it out to the grill. All right, so this is the best job I think I've ever done getting the chicken on a on the rotisserie here. Uh, so what you saw me do is you, you saw me get the legs up in here to pinch them because usually what ends up happening is the legs start flopping around and the wings are pinched as well. So now we take this whole assembly out to the grill, get the rotisserie started. All right, so I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before, but what I've done is I've taken out the grill grates as well as that uh, extra rack that usually sits up here. And uh, this is the rotisserie burner. So it starts and works. Uh, I guess there's a little heating element and I don't know exactly how it works, but it works. So now at this point, I'm going to go and get the, um, the chicken and let's clean up a little bit of grease and barbecue sauce maybe that was there. That will stop smoldering soon. But you can see the flame. There is some actual flame coming out of there, but majority of it is that ceramic surface that is indeed warm. So I'm going to go get the bird, get it out here, get it uh, centered, working, and go from there. Alright, so the way this works is obviously you can see that the chicken is pretty much almost centered directly in front of the heating element there and over here we have the motor and the there's a, ro uh, a rotating point here and watch as this comes on. It would help if I actually got it into the gear. Now while it rotates and spins, what I'm gonna do is go get a little more seasoning and throw some more seasoning on there. I didn't do any sort of uh, adhesion agent, so the majority of the season is still stuck in the foil there, but not a problem. Watch that get dizzy for a moment while I go get some more seasoning. This is actually how I probably should have seasoned the chicken to begin with. Seasoned it while it was spinning on the rotisserie. Check that out. Now, <laughs> get all up in those nooks and crannies. Now, honestly enough, all I'm gonna do is let this hang out and I'll come and check on it every now and again. Right now, the burner is on high. I might turn it down, but we're gonna close up the um, grill and see what it does. I know a lot of people ask about time and things like that when it, when it comes to cooking. So what I'm gonna do is actually set Stopwatch. Hopefully you can see that. 
All right. Stopwatch says. All right, so let's check the timer and see what, how long it's been. All right, so hopefully, and this is kind of difficult. 25 minutes. All right, I'll come check on this again in a little while. So at this point, I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit <clears throat> since it's been a uh, half an hour or so. And we're going to just watch it cook. All right. Looking ain't cooking. So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to check it again at the about one hour mark. <clears throat> All right. So our chicken is looking much better. It smells much better. And then I wanted to show you guys something. So, I have some rice, like some pasta rice with some asparagus over here on the side burner. And pro tip, if you mix the vegetables in with the pasta and or rice, the kids can't take it out and separate it. So, but always, always my wife wants me to have vegetables with, the, you know, or, or a side with meat. So... Here we go. So I'm killing two birds with one stone, vegetable and pasta. Or, yeah, well, pasta and or rice. I can't remember which it was. And then the chicken. Cover that back up. Close this back up. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not a real firm believer of cooking at time. But you can see it's been almost an hour and a half. And, oh, look at that bird right there. I'm gonna stop the rotisserie when it comes around so I can temp the breast. And I wanna temp the breast. I want it to be at 165. I'll be happy with 165. So let's see where we end up. 140. Actually, I don't have to yell out. I can just, you can see. Pardon the background noise there. 150. All right. So we looks like we still have some time on the bird. And um, yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you this. So this is the pasta with the asparagus. It was like a cheese pasta or a cheese rice or something along those lines. But cut up the asparagus, put it all in there. All right, let that cook, and uh, we're gonna come back to this bird in a little while. Don't forget your thermometer. I've done that. Oh, we gotta keep it spinning. It was burning a little bit. Woo! Sorry about that. All right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, so I'm back out of the grill, and we are at 170. Let me go ahead and open up my phone and see what our time looks like. Uh-oh. Hmm. I don't know if that's 118 minutes or if I reset it last time that I uh, turned it off. But nonetheless, you have your... And my whole thing is this, I don't actually cook the time, but people ask me, how long did it take? How long did it take? How long did it take? I don't know. I cook until the temperature is right. This went a little further than I wanted it to go only because I was waiting for my wife. I just talked to her. She said she's way further away from home than I thought, which means the kids and I are about to eat. All right. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will post some videos of me cooking every now and again. If you want to see some things or if you want to be able to purchase some of the things that you see in some of these videos, check out the Amazon links down below. Thanks again for watching. See y'all next time.